peanut. <laughs> Look at me. Look at me. So these are the headlights from my Urus, uh, which are currently wrapping in the back right now. The headlights are really nice on this car except for the orange reflectors. The orange reflectors on the side of them on the US models are very, very nasty. It takes away from the look of the car in my opinion. So we open them up. Uh, we realized that basically the reflector comes off, which goes right here. Uh, we painted it black as you can see here and basically no more orange. Behind me, customer is just taking delivery of his GLC 63 AMG. This thing is really cool. Um, it's got a lot of accessories on there, as you could see. Diachromatic tinted headlights, all the lights up front, roof rack with all the lights there. It's been tuned. We just did an exhaust on it, a custom exhaust. It's not too loud, sounds good. It's been lowered, it's got wheels. Man, it's got a lot for a GLC, but I think that looks really, really sick. Um, you don't see it often. Okay, so we have a Bentley here. Uh, as you guys just seen, the left front of this car suspension is broken. So um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, take a look at this, see what needs to be done. Obviously, it's not safe to drive, uh, so we're gonna start on these repairs tomorrow morning. So we have this Mercedes E350. Oh, nice, thank you very much, I appreciate the gift. So, we have an E350 Mercedes here. This car is in here for a check engine light. Um, there's an EVAP leak on this car and let's see where it's actually coming from. So, as you guys can see, there is a big puddle here of gas. Uh, this is right on top of the fuel pump. It's a, it's a cover on top of the fuel pump, and you guys can see how this plastic is cracked already, and gasoline is just coming right out of it, causing a check engine light. So, we're gonna have to change this um, and put this car back to 100%. The car does smell like gas. It's terrible. Um, get this car up and running tomorrow.
right guys, this is a special moment for me. We got my Euros. It's 90% done. We got the first version of the wide body from 1016 Industries. It's a limited edition body kit. Still not fully done, so bear with us. We're showing you guys because we're excited. Uh, we do this obviously as a business and we do this YouTube channel not as a business really, just to show you guys um, what we're all about. But we do ask you guys to subscribe, tell your friends, like our video, like our Instagram pages, um, help us continue doing this. Uh, it's hard to run a business, do all these cars for all these people and do the YouTube video on top of it. The front flare is on there, um, forged carbon of course. So the whole outside lip is forged carbon. Actually the whole thing was forged carbon, but we wrapped it to match the car. This is a custom, Pearl white brushed. Um, it doesn't come this way. We made it like this. Um, I, I like the color pearl white and I also like the brushed finish. So we combined the two and now we get the best of both worlds. We opened up these headlights. They had a nasty orange reflector right here. We took it out, we painted it black, we resealed them, put it back. So this is a huge, huge modification for this car. No more orange, it doesn't stand out anymore. Now it's all black. It really took away from the car as you can see on the other Euruses. Another huge thing on this car are these 24 inch Veloz wheels that you guys chose last week. Um, these are 24 inch step lip, three piece. It's a 11 and a half width in the front and a 13 in the back. So as crazy as it gets for 24 inch three piece wheels, um, obviously clears the biggest production brakes ever made on a car, which the Euros has. More forged carbon along the sides, of course, with the brush white. You guys could really tell how amazing the brush white looks. The back wheel, which is super deep and concave. And then you got the flares in the back, of course, we put on there. Um, this is reversible. So no cutting necessary. Reversible, you could do this to your Euros and take it back off. Um, mine, we're going super aggressive. We're gonna stance it up even more. The back wheel needs to come out a little bit more. Unfortunately, with the forging in this configuration, you couldn't get it bigger. So we're gonna have to do a little bit of a spacer in the back to get it out some more. So it's not the final fitment. You guys will see that more later when we finalize the car, show you guys more of it, driving, all that stuff. Right now, we literally took it from the back uh, and brought it to the front just to show you guys. The back is, I think, where it's at for this car. Um, crazy width in the back. It's about 80 millimeters more width on the back than stock. And that's on each side. So 80 millimeters more on the back. Um, that's a total of obviously 160 millimeters on the full back of the car, which is crazy. This thing just looks unreal now. Obviously you guys already saw the forged carbon in the back everywhere. And now with that white finish and the brush it pops out. Um, we're gonna do a few little minor tweaks, which we're gonna get your input again because your input is valuable to us. Uh, just like last week, we got so much great responses on the wheel choices. We're gonna ask you guys now on this car, my car again, should we wrap the roof in gloss black? The roof right now is wrapped in the brushed white, but it has that big glass moonroof. Do you think we should cover that whole roof in gloss black or leave it the way it is? So comment below, comment anywhere you see arts on social media, let us know what you guys think. Leave it alone or do the gloss black. The hood, we did some stripe on it, we didn't like it. I'm gonna be removing that next week. We'll get you guys more of this car rolling and all that stuff. We're gonna pan over to the other Euros now. The bra black brushed Euros, you guys saw us working on this a few weeks ago. It has also the full forged carbon 1016 body kit on there as you could see. Um, and now it also has the wide body. So two at the same time, we built these. We have another wide body coming this week. Uh, pretty crazy. Three of the first three in the world built by us in a few days. So crazy stuff. This one doesn't look very good right now because of the wheels. It has the stock wheels on there. We put a 50 millimeter adapter and it still wasn't enough, which is crazy. That just shows you guys how wide the car is. We're gonna be creating some new wheels for this one too, but this one's gonna be the full dark mode theme. Um, it's gonna be the black version of mine. This is all real car work. This is all stuff done in a daily basis. It's not a build that took us a month and we put it together on video. This is all a matter of two days, three days, insanity. So keep watching. Um, your feedback is very important to us and let us know 
How you feel about these two years? Is 